which uh, still exists to this day. And uh, uh, I ended up, um, I guess, astonishing my own self because I went through, I think, 12 interviews in all. I got passed around all the, the directors twice in London, plus plus the owner twice, I think, something like that. And there's 11 or 12 interviews, got the job. And I suppose that was the starting point of my career in, in travel. And uh, so I started with Jack Travel, which was very generic in terms of what it was offering, the product. It was doing homestay, it was doing FIT, it was doing leisure travel. Uh, in, uh, and, and in, in and in group tours, and and it was doing a little bit, dabbling a little bit in this thing called an in incentives, and um, it was in May 1994 that I had my first responsibility for an incentive. Yeah. And it was for the Renault Profi Club from Austria. The 28th of May they came in in, in 1994, and I was pretty. Uh, overwhelmed by it all because there seemed to be this big pressure built up and and uh, it was 110 people it was based at Glen Eagles it was a high obviously what we know today it's quite a high-end incentive and uh, I was there uh, with literally five weeks behind me and uh, you could say it was sink or swim and uh, but I realized that that uh, you know a bit a bit of logic a bit of character and 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 uh, Obviously, I knew, didn't know a lot about the logistics side of things, but my boss was up from London, and it that was the turning point for me. That's what got me into this mice business, into this incentive, well, especially in the incentive side of things. Um, and that was that was where the love affair started because it was the connectivity and the emotional connectivity that I got with the customers that were there. It was a I could feel a bond between them growing on the trip, and I could feel that level of connectivity that I was getting given me a, a buzz that you could never get from just planning at a distance yeah. a leisure group so that was a defining moment where I realized okay that's what I want to do yeah it took another year or so before I realized that I wanted to do it myself and and uh, so we uh, uh, that being my father-in-law and I we started Hello Scotland um, with some guys from down south we ended up buying out a year and a half later mm -hmm. and ever since then it's been focused on on the mice business and uh, as I say the rest is, is history um, yeah. but I still enjoy when, Dad, still... I think we, we probably managed to cut you off at the beginning I'm really sorry about that so when did you okay. start Hello Scotland? Uh, so I started Hello Scotland on the 3rd of July 1996 Wow That's... 1996 so even, but, yeah, coming, up, coming up 24 <laughs> years now I... <laughs> Yeah, and I think I think the same the, the same interest and passion has been the, the the driving force over all these years. To be honest, it's yes, it, it it comes and goes sometimes, and you get a little bit tired at times, as we all do uh, in this business, because it, it does it does wrap you up, it sucks you in, and it spits you out sometimes. And if you've had a long long season, and and it, you, you you're pretty mentally <laughs> mentally as well as physically tired, yeah. but you still when you you know when you wipe yourself down when you when you you know clean yourself up and you, yeah. and you redress and you start to think about your life and, and especially so at the moment yes especially so at the moment isn't it yeah you yeah, just miss it so much yeah. You, yeah you realize that you you're incredibly I, i've always regarded myself as a very lucky individual to be in this industry yeah because it's it's a, such a it's such a rewarding intrinsically rewarding place to be Absolutely. Uh, um, because of the, the, the nature of it, because of the nature of it. Yeah. And I can yeah. totally get why why you wanted to swap the office desk for being out there, because I think that's the same reason why we are, we are in the industry. It's just mm. such a different thing once you're out and, you know, with small groups, but the same with big groups like you do. Yeah. It's, it's just that experience and seeing them enjoying it is that that's what makes your day like your every day almost. I think it is, and and it's 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 also, you know, you can be you can be, you know, you have a you have a role to play, you have a responsibility, in in that that, that you know sometimes there's there's the, the companies are they have an objective in mind. It's not just about throwing money some in some direction. They have an objective mm -hmm. to to yeah. reward these people, and the, the, whether it be I alluded to the profit club. That was obviously the top Renault dealers, but there's all kinds of clubs that are out there, you know, uh, the, the, the Profi Club, the Gold Club, the Platinum Club. They've all got their names, and and uh, but their purpose 
is to to acknowledge, reward, uh, rejuvenate, thank the, the, it, through this motivational experience that that we're responsible for delivering, for creating and delivering. Yeah. So you you do have a lot of pressure on you because there's sometimes hundreds of thousands of pounds at stake that, that the companies are investing. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. more. Yeah. You know, when you've got a biggie. And and uh, but to be honest, when you're in there, you don't even think about that. You, you you it's all about the human contact, and it's about getting people uh, to you know trying to change mindset when when they're when they're when they're there. And it's a, it's 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 reasonably easy to do because the people that are, that are coming are pretty positive people, and that they're positive. That's why they're successful. Yeah. Um. So they're coming already with a with a positive mindset. And it's just about it's just about having the right triggers and a program that, that taps in more to that and and uh, allows them to get what we want them to get from the experiences. Yeah. And, and whether it's an overall from all little bits of it or a particular thing that means more to them, you've got different people coming that 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 that, that uh, are going to get more out of different things than other people are going to get out of other things. You know, it's so it's 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 a mishmash. So. But for me, it's always been that it's the magical moments, it's the emotional bond that these people can can get through experiencing that together. Absolutely. And and you're there to see it deliver. You know, you're there to deliver it, to see it happening, to see the bond happening, and 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 to to feel and to see the tears in their eyes and to to <laughs> see the results and the hugs and 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 the you know the, the 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 regretful farewells at the end that they don't want to go home. So so um, it's it's. That emotion, that raw emotion that you see, uh, motivates you, and 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 uh, it really gives you such a buzz for to say, okay, they're away. Next one, yeah. bring it on. <laughs> you, you know, you're looking you're looking forward to 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 the next one. So so I think that 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 kind of I said already, it's about the intrinsic motivation you get. That is so much stronger than you would get at a distance, just planning and sending a script to to the local guide to say there's the program there's your explorer passes there's the accommodation away you go and you know the guide's going to get far more out of it yeah, yeah. oh yeah they they than, have that experience because they make the, group, yeah. the trip happen you know this time you make like you guys you know you're, you're with those people you're there to see it yeah so 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 you know you know what i'm you know you know what i'm referring to so yeah Yes, yeah, so, so for me, the 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 the, the incentive business um, has has, uh, has always provided that, and, and there's always something new to be dealing with. You 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 know, I've I've, I've used my metaphors in so many ways, but you know, it's it's like the you've got this. I've used the the, the, the artist metaphor. You know, you've got this beautiful palette of paints, and you you've got a whiteboard effect. Effectively, and you wipe the whiteboard down, and you start again. And and you can really just choose whatever colours you want and paint whatever picture you want. Sometimes the client accepts it. Sometimes you've got to change a little bit, but eventually you can get hopefully this unique picture, and then you deliver on on that. Um, I relate it to being like the Michelin star chefs of the travel industry. Yeah. In the mice business, because it's not just about a fix. It's not just about an, an, an a cheap accommodation. It's about the whole thing. It's about the whole the whole experience. Yeah. Uh, the taste of so it, the have... feel of it, the, 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 what you're hearing, what you, you know, yeah. as you would do in a Michelin star restaurant. Of, it, it's, of the it's so much more, it's the whole, the whole gambit. Yeah. yeah, we have a couple of pictures of the experience what, you actually offer. Yeah, so, for, like, yeah. so let's start with the kilt lesson, shall we start with that? That's yeah, annoying. one thing I love is your passion as well. You know, you, you can tell, the people can tell that you do it and you love it. And one one of the one of the best stories is the way you describe to the men of the group how to put on a kilt. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, that, that's so I've got, enough, bizarrely that started late. It started late September, late September two thousand and one, uh, and it was a, a group from SEB Invest from Germany um, at the at the Tamahoy Hotel just near the skirts of Edinburgh, and. Uh, I remember, uh, uh, and I won't go into the detail of this because obviously we know it's no, it's, a, it's a bit of a secret, Sean. You've you've been part of it. We've had some, had some fun together doing this uh, already. For me, it's always not about the, what you do. It's always been about the way that you do things. 
Yeah. And, and that's where you get results. That's where you get a, a defining moment. And that's where you get, you know, companies saying five years later, we got all this incredible uh, luxury on this program. We got five star this. We got, you know, tra- transfers by Rolls Royce. But the the biggest, the, the most thing, they, the thing they remember most was getting the bloody kilts fitted with Bill. <laughs> yeah. And that gives me such a buzz. It makes me laugh. It tickles me because it is. It's that unique moment because the rest of those things, people are very spoiled. Right. You know, these people, this industry is not young anymore. So, so they've been and seen and done and experienced so many wonderful, beautiful, luxurious things around the world. And so it's very difficult sometimes to compete with that. But so what you're trying to create is unique moments, is, is these special moments. And and the, the, the kilt, you, we've got an advantage because we, it's pretty unique. They're not going to go to any country and get fitted in kilts except no. Scotland. So that you're already on a, on a winner. And, and uh, it's about then creating that, 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 you know, those moments. And I remember very fondly that, that ACB Invest, and I was very nervous at the time because I was still young in the industry. I was 2001. Uh, I was still only five years, five, six, six, seven years in. And, and uh, the company was still young at five years old. And I remember very nervously sharing the, 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 the stories. And, and uh, there's one part about, we talk about the, the, the activities when, when the lads go to the toilet. Yes. Right? Um, <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, we, you know, we talk about uh, uh, that, and and and, and we talk about uh, if I'm. Is this okay to talk? It's so past the, the, the time of the day. It's not, it's not past nine o'clock. It's still very early. That's <laughs> so good. But but we t- we talk about. I I, I tell them when, they know when they're finished. The, you know the kilt, the procedure. You know, hold hold the the, the the kilt and the glass because obviously they go. To, they always take their glass with them if they're any any bar or whatever. And and uh, but one thing they must remember to do. Is is to 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 uh, uh, to give uh, uh, their mm-mm, a little shake, two <laughs> three good shakes, right? Two three good shakes before they go before they drop the thing, before they go back to to, to the to the gala dinner. And uh, I'm looking around the room, and there was they were all guffawing, all these senior the senior investment fund managers um, that were on the trip, except the boss man himself, and and uh, there was not. Not not a thing. I I I, I thought oh, shit. I've insulted him, and I, I was terrified. And I, I thought I really insulted him until later in the evening. We're down at Lennox Stuff House, which is no longer a venue anymore. It's a Duke of Hamilton's property by by Ham, by Huntington. And uh, I had a young lady going on to play the violin later in the evening, and I was sitting outside the beautiful, the beautiful vaulted dining room, and uh, this up the door is walking past, and and he said, I remember his voice is quite husky. And he said, Bill. And I turn around and he says, three shakes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, three shakes. In fact, this was him acknowledging he'd just been to the toilet as he'd given, it, he'd given himself three <laughs> shakes before coming out and going back. And I burst out into laughter and I realised it was just obviously a very dry sense of humour this chap had. And that, as, that was the starting point. And since then, it's evolved into a... Uh, uh, um, I, I guess a bit of theatre and, and a bit of a bit of fun, but it but it genuinely relaxes the guys. It gets them into such a, a positive mindset for going out, uh, and t- because a lot of them are terrified, yeah, They're terrified to you know get their kit off and get in a kilt, and even more terrified to you know to to remove their undergarments, you know, to and thing for Scotland, you know, and and. And that's part of the memory. It creates part of the memory. And if they do it, do it and they often, you know, 99 times out of 100, they'll do that. And we, once they're relaxed and we're doing it as a collective, we do it together, then there's no stopping them. And even the shyest and, and most re- reserved of, of those guys who come over really get into it. And that itself is an achievement. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the guys that are the quiet guys in the office and they're there and they're swinging and jumping on tables and having, and it's just fantastic. So, you you know, that can, in, that's what you can induce by get, getting guys doing it in the right way. You know, because if you, if you just simply kept it as this alien subject, well, oh, there's a kill to kill and there's some instructions and you've got to do it behind closed doors in your own bedroom and put it on and come down and oh, 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 oh. that for me is boring, you know, and, and it's yeah. not going to create that memory. And another you know, thing with so, so that 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 is one 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 highlight. Yeah, another thing I love working with you is the variation of the places we go to. Um, one of my favourites is we got a picture of the banqueting hall here. Is a certain castle north of Glasgow that has a very close affiliation uh-huh. to you and your family as well. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, look, I think that, that we're talking about emotions, Sean and and and, and Batia, but we're talking about emotions, and for these people, the, 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 a lot of them are, are they've got some of these people you meet, they own their own, their own, they own their own, own hotel chains, they own their own, you know, twenty, thirty tire companies, the 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 the, the individually incredibly successful people. So, what you're always trying to be mindful of is where are you taking them and, and what you do with them, uh, it, it, you, you, you can't, you, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be uh, uh, know, knowing in your heart that just being there for them is pretty special. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, to, to go to a private home such as that and give them something special with the character or the individual that's delivering whatever it is they're getting. And this is what I come back to. It's to it's 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 not what you do. It's the way that you do it. Yeah. So if you put them within the, the the if you put them on the stage, the stage being the castle you're referring to near my home. Uh, in fact, I'm about to two days from now put the most amazing footage of this this castle uh, up because I walk past it when I when I'm doing my my walks just now. And and uh, but it's you don't have to do anything there. You just have to stand and be there. And you feel there's a spiritual yeah. side of, of, of being in this environment. And they know it's this private home. It's been in the same ownership, the same family since 1430. It's a pretty unique place, yeah. you know, even in world terms. So then you add the garnish of whether it be that climb game, Sean, which you know yourself is not just a climb games. No. Yeah. The way we do it, it's <laughs> not just a climb games. Uh, uh, it, it's it's the way that they organise it, the pre-organisation before you even start the games. It's it's then you know the, on the occasion we, I remember with you last year we had then we had a beautiful picnic on the lawn and, yes, and, uh, definitely. and a butler there and, Put up a and, picture. Uh, uh, and all the all the trimmings. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do too much to make it incredibly <laughs> memorable and and most importantly getting inside the hearts and in, in, in the souls. That's what you need to get. Because otherwise it's just, yeah, whatever. It's just another place. Another it's thing with um, a lot of these farm. groups, I mean, you get a lot of um, a lot of businessmen or men in construction or air conditioning and things like that. It doesn't matter where they're from in the world. If you put them with some lovely hunting dogs, you see these growing men turn into, yes. uh, you know, dribbly little creatures as soon as they get to play with these lovely dogs. A lot, a lot of the times they have puppies as well. But... Um, the hunting dog shows are really, really, really good. Quite a unique experience too. Boy, the trout fishing. I think so. Yeah, I, I, and it, it, it kind of fits on 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 a day again. Yeah. If it's up in in uh, you know in highlands and nature, and uh, you perhaps combine it with something else. Yeah, even uh, like things uh, like with you know, the um, falconry and shooting. Yeah, whatever. when we do that, when we do the trout fishing as well, I've got a shot here of um, one of the groups we did yeah. last year. Pulling in a huge big trout. Um, I think yeah. that was the one we actually got to eat one of the trouts after the. Yeah. Event. We were staying up in Pitlock. Yeah, we took there. it up to 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 Fonard Castle, didn't we? Yeah. And got the chefs to prepare it, and they, they, they served it. They served it like a Michelin star star, didn't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which was lovely. But, yeah. Uh, but they, the boys got the bragging rights, of course, that it was their fish. Yeah. So did you like so, right so, from uh, the beginning yeah, for the it, whole range or did you actually over the years come up with even like you kind of almost put your bar higher and higher and higher? So like you were supposed to be on helicopter, you, you were on helicopters, weren't yes. you? Like, so this is obviously something where you, like I remember one of the yeah. uh, trips with you where you, they were going one group was going golfing and the other ones did the uh, distillery, wasn't it? And then, yeah. click, you know, and you were even helicoptering them from one location to the other. Did you start with that from day one or did you that only add that later in the days when you were more successful with your groups? I, I think the, 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 no, you know what? I, I enjoyed the early days as much as I enjoyed the later days. I think as you grow in reputation and perhaps in trust, you, you get perhaps then entrusted with bigger and better things, that, that being more, more budget. So, yeah. you know, you can afford the, 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 heli, the heli budgets. And, and, uh, but again, you know, it's just about going up a heli, or is it going up to do something pretty unique in a heli, and and, and you know, uh, achieving something special 
and, and, and uh, so so I I can't say that when you're sitting by today with that palette of paints, or I'm sitting down today with that range of ingredients to create that mission star meal, it's still the same vibe, it's still the same buzz that I get. And, and in fact, it's 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 exciting because since the the the, the you know the COVID came around. We've been, we've been grounded. It's all been doom, gloom, cancellation, deferral, all the rest of it, rest of it for all of us. And, and just this past two days, I've got um, the first new requests um, that I've got to do today, tomorrow yeah. um, for, for, for clients for next April and July. And, and uh, I'm getting you that energy. same buzz again. Yeah. I'm getting that same feeling. Okay, what, what are we going to do? Yeah. And, and how are we going to do it? And, and could we do that a little bit different? And you know, it, it, sometimes it depends what, what 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 pressure you're under, and and if you if you're in a corner and you've got to think quickly, maybe you choose from something from your existing library. Of course you do. Yeah. You're only human, but but you're always trying to come up with an edge, yeah. trying to come up with something that that a little bit different. Whether it just be a choice of language, to to deliver the same thing, because that's a cre- you know that's a creative art in itself. Yeah. You could be eating that same chocolate, but it's how you wrap you wrap it. Yeah. Uh, that that defines its difference. Uh, and and uh, you know, and that that's. You know, you buy something out of Harrods, and it's the same same damn product you, you're buying out of, you know, the local whatever, the, the the local corner store. But it's the way that it's wrapped, and it's the way that's presented, and the way that it's sold sold uh, that that people think they're getting so much more, and therefore pay so much more, yeah. if you like. But it's the same thing. So uh, 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 sometimes you've got to use a bit of wrapping, and the, you've got to change the the the, the ingredients in the chocolate uh, that's in there. <laughs> And and uh, that depend that's that dependent upon time and resources. And I think uh, that you, I think that, that's that you've got. kind of what what and, uh, makes life but tour- still, tourism or you know incentive even more so so interesting that you can reinvent what you do on a almost daily basis or group by group. You can say that went really well or that didn't go so well. Yeah. You can even make it better, yeah. though you feel like you can never top that and you feel like, well, but next to it, you actually topped it again. Because, yeah, yeah, well, right. And it lives. In- that's right. And, and what's also good is, is what comes with experience. Yeah. Right. So I've, I've been I've been creating incentives since 1994. So I've got a lot to think back on and think, right, that was just frigging amazing. <laughs> um, but. I, I, but you also got to be reflective and know where the weaknesses are. Yeah. Uh, know where the strengths are, and so you, you've got a lot to reflect back on. And these are all little, you know, if if you like, you've got all little bits of experience that you can pull together to create something, and a lot to 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 think back to know what works. Yeah. So experience counts for a lot. Absolutely. As we all know that it, it it really does. It's experience counts for a lot in this business because the last thing you want to do is make a mess of it. Yeah, uh, you only Especially get one shot. With some of the suppliers that you're dealing with as well, they're big name companies. Yeah. you know, you look at the Royal Yacht Britannia. Yeah. You know that they're, they're yeah. going to suffer fools lightly. You know, you've got to be on the ball and know what you're doing, and you know, it's it's collaboration. Sean is 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 key. You know, collaboration with your local partners and that includes collaboration with you guys uh, yeah. to, to the to the to the coach company to the to the to the transfer company with with the old timer cars to the castles to the to the distilleries mm-hmm. etc that's a, a thing that it's always been important for us as well as mm-hmm. important uh, as our clients uh, uh, for me always as important as our clients to be respectful of to 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 work with not against to yeah. not get take to, mm-hmm. but to to uh, 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 to collaborate with to make it because if you've got them ready with a smile, the guests are going to get a better experience as opposed to waiting with a gritted teeth, going, "I really don't like working with you guys, but I'm going to deliver because you're paying me the money." <laughs> you know, you want them to do it out of love. But that, work, that's... Work, working with you as well, I can see a genuine friendship with so many of the hotel owners, the suppliers, yeah. um, whether it's you know, um, uh, the falconry shows or things like that. The guys um, from the 4 by 4 hire that we've used a lot of times, yeah. they, they hang around when they don't have to because they enjoy being around you. And yeah, them. because you, but, you, you, can't, you can't fake it. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't fake your, your, your being genuinely interested in those people and, and as people as well as suppliers. 
yeah. But, but that's just certainly what I have tend, tried to 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 uh, uh, show by example to my team since we started the company. Yeah. And I think that, that that everyone follows suit. We, you know, we, we, we you know I think we've we've developed a reputation out in the market in in in, in uh, uh, but we've also developed a reputation in Scotland for being a company who are fun and and uh, and good to work with. Yeah, and that's really important for us. And it kind of helps uh, a lot yeah. too because sometimes like being so much being about out outdoors, you know, there's been times where the weather's turned. No rubbish and that where you yeah. rely on your suppliers to help you that's right get things done you know you just go that yeah. little bit further and if it was someone that was just doing it for the money they wouldn't hang around for an extra half no that listen that, that no? sean you're absolutely right and that's when it does count when 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 you have that that genuine friendship that genuine respect and trust with with you know with your key suppliers that they're going to help you out the shit and and want to when that's mm -hmm. when that collaboration that genuine collaboration exists yeah, and, and uh, you know, and that and that it's interesting because I was just talking about it today, or just about to write. Uh, I was uh, talking in detail with Jen about the Toyota Group that you were involved with last year from Australia. Yeah, and we're going to write a case study on it, and that's exactly what we're mm -hmm. talking about. That that Friday morning, yeah, when it was a storm, yeah, and that, and we, we wondered whether we were going to leave that in the case study or or skirt around it, but we both agreed. No, whilst we don't want to dwell on it too much, we need to say Plan A was yep. this this was the plan yeah with helis with yeah, exactly. you know surprise pop up uh, uh, bars on the middle of Loch Lomond and highlanders jumping out of trees and all but the reality <laughs> was something different from the plan but and uh, but we we're going to we're going to reflect back and celebrate the day that we achieved yeah. and that's when it comes down to what we are as a DMC yeah you know I thought that's the that, that's the purpose of why we're there we can make a nice plan but we've got to be there to be able to adapt in in, yep. in in those moments and not lose the plot, not not get too stressed and be able to see it through and 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 still keep that smile on and deliver a good day. Yeah. And 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 that defines us as well. And that was a that was a day in in, in I mean, and in that question, also so comes sure. through to having a mutual respect with your supplier as well. Yeah. I mean for the helicopter company to come back and do an extra run. Yeah. Then to actually see them bring a fuel tanker out to King's yeah. golf course to refuel it. That's right. Up. Just so we could get them back again, you know? yeah, no. yeah, it is. And if they, yeah, I'm not going to use obviously horrible words, but if they if they thought you were something other than a, a decent guy, a decent a decent company to work with, they might not do that. They don't have to do it. Yeah, and that comes down to the human connection. And as I said, it's a collaboration. It's a yeah. collective approach. Everyone has got to play their part in 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 uh, in ensuring that 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 objective of having these people leave. With the most incredible memories is achieved mm. and and it, it you know w w it's not just about hello scotland it, it's it's a collection of all the suppliers including hello who are just one of them who are just the organizing yeah. one to collaborate and deliver on the programs and and the more you can trust them the more you can trust them you you you, you know that you're in safe hands yeah absolutely you know and you know that we're all singing from the same song sheet <laughs> and not only the same song you know the same line on the same song sheet and when you've got that level of comfort you can genuinely begin yeah. to relax a little, bit. <laughs> Just a little bit i suppose it's finding people that you can work with and call your umbrella bitch as well so yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> that's true yes you know yeah. <laughs> knowing who you can do that to <laughs> that's, that's right sean you, you <laughs> That was your coming of age moment, I think. Yeah. That was me taking taking the Mickey, but thinking oh, maybe we get away with it here. <laughs> yeah. So where uh, we kind of probably uh, work over the half hour limit. That where it has can you remember the furthest away a group has come from? What's the, uh, oh, what's it's got to be Australia. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Australia definitely. Okay. Mm. Australia, and that's uh, the you know the the Australian group last year and the Australian group that that's now been. Defer to next March. They've reset the dates, and yeah. uh, they'll come next March for Metcash. And and uh, so that and, and and to be honest, it's it's it was an absolute pleasure. I loved I loved having the Aussies in, but that's the furthest away. Uh, okay. Your question. And do you kind of count yeah. countries? Like, have you had almost from not probably not, but from every continent? I suppose you had you've had uh, clients, right? I reckon we've we've probably had companies from every continent. Yeah. Yes, whether they've been the 
the, the, the primary and only company there or whether they've been part of a collection of countries. Two, actually, yeah. That have been, yeah. You know, that have been there. Because sometimes there's been as many as 26, 27 countries, yeah. you know, in the one group. Yeah. You know, uh, it's been a worldwide thing. Some things, there's probably even been more, you know, and yeah. some of the larger conference groups we've had, Great. whether it's been that collection I worldwide. I can totally get, like, like, how do you kind of boil it all down when you'd have so many different cultures and languages and you know ideas of what to do be, be authentic exactly be authentic because they're there you know you're the common denominator remember yeah as scotland Let, yeah. let's put that as a collective exactly. you know you don't have to try to change who you are no in my opinion for any 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 yeah. uh, um, uh, uh, um country that's coming yeah. You, you are true to who you are. People want to know what a Scotsman is. Yeah. People want to know what the Scottish experience is. <laughs> People yeah. want to know what the guy in the kilt is saying. People want to know what the piper is playing and, and saying. They're not going to try to change that just because they're German over they are Sp Spanish or, or, or Italian or, mm -hmm. or Chinese. So yeah. being authentic is, is key. Absolutely. So it's but, easy because you just stay yourself. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to change. No. I, I never change for anyone. <laughs> no, not a thing, and I don't think you guys do either. You know, you are what you are, and people come to Scotland, and you're mm. part of that experience. They don't want to see any different from what you are. They want to see the authentic you. That's true. So, are we going to see and, and um, the authentic the, experience in Scotland? Yeah. After the lockdown, are we still going to see the re, um, resurgence of the fox sporran, or is he going to get laid to rest? You think? Yeah. Well, he, 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 he's uh, he's dawned. He's on my two days ago. I put. Uh, the Insta up and Facebook up, yeah. and I'm on my walk back wall of my garden, uh, <laughs> uh, talking about how lockdown is, but the fact that I'm seeing these beautiful places in my neighbourhood that that I've had great memories of. Sean, we talked about one being the beautiful castle and Glengoyne Distillery is another, which has just gone up today. So yeah, I was I was I got my I got my kilt on and was on the back wall uh, uh, of, of of my garden. So, <laughs> um, so I think I think that sparring of yours is almost as famous as you are. It's, yeah, I'm sure he hasn't been, got his own. Paper. He's been through a lot. He's been he's been through a lot. He's <laughs> yeah, he can the world tell. <laughs> and, uh, but he's been he's been a he's been an inspiration to 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 uh, to to uh, some really funny guys that I wanted to wear him for the evening. So <laughs> it's fun when I've lent lent them my sporran to wear, and they've been out in the town with a, with a big fox on, or yeah. or it's been it's been a, a, a shock experience for for. Uh, for people, uh, uh, especially in America, they seem to get so shocked by it. We walk around shopping centres and whatnot in between appointments. It's been pretty freaky and funny. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been chased down the streets in Cologne with with two Rottweilers who took <laughs> offence to, to the dog, to the, to the fox, and and uh, really I've, I've spooked so many dogs yeah. in so many countries actually on my trips. I've had to take the you know take them off, put them on top of filing cabinets, put them out the room, yeah. remove the dogs, uh, and uh, or whatever. Well, so some I've, of the falconry yeah. shows as well, you've had to stay yeah away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big uh, pilgrim, the the the, the bald eagle t does not like uh, 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 Freddy the fox. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but the, but the fox has become part. I suppose it's become part of parcel of my identity and my 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 brand as part of hello and and. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a nice breaker as well, you know. Yeah. It's it really is a nice breaker and and it's great fun. Cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to wrap it up now, Bill. So it's been it's been good to have a chat. Just... Guys, it's been great. It's been it's been what what's been so positive for me. It's just reminding me of what, what I do have the pleasure of being part of, yeah. which has been a challenge lately. Yeah. I think for all of us. And, oh, yeah, and uh, but just to get you know to have these two new requests in to be speaking to you constructively and positively about the business. It's yeah. it's just refueling my tank right now, and uh, so thank you for that. Thank you for the opportunity. Part of the reason why we're doing it is to yeah. keep us all going and to keep yeah. the fires lit. You know, we we all live this wanderlust, you know, yeah. travel as lifestyle. You know, we need to do it. That's what we do. So it's just to keep us ticking along. And <laughs> and we will very soon. But it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for both of you. Yeah, no, it's been well, great. Thank you. So we we'll hope to see you in person soon. But so far we are staying home and staying safe. But it was super yes. to live live through your eyes for a moment there to kind of see what you're doing that is an, in groups. an absolute and, um, pleasure you I take care we're going to inspire you. lots of people to come over to Scotland with you <laughs> thank you all the very best take take it easy Bye. I'm going to put this off now yeah <laughs> all right well thanks a lot for tuning in um I did have a bit of a moment hitting the wrong mute button so if you um missed a little bit at the start we sort of caught up again to the end there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so be sure to tune in with us on 
Tuesday. Tuesday, 12 o'clock. And we have... Silent Disco Man, Master of the Dad Moose, John <laughs> Longworth. Uh, yes, we'll have the tease up soon. But yeah, if you want to know what the silent, silent disco or silent tours, that's what they're called, silent adventures. They, are, they started in Edinburgh, but they're now like uh, almost worldwide, I think. Oh. But definitely UK-wide. And uh, the first and the one and only Edinburgh Superman will be on our show to show you around what's, what it's like to be on those tours. Cool. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.